A mother and disability rights advocate leaves the State Department of Education meeting today in handcuffs. Highway Patrol troopers escorted her out during public comment. Fox 25's David Chazanoff listened in. David, what can you tell us? Adam and Wendy, records show Audra Beasley has since bonded out of jail, but she's still facing charges after what happened here today at the OSDE meeting. You are arresting me in front of my children because this man over here is a bigot and a bully, picking on trans kids, picking on disabled kids, picking on my kids. And my kids are crying, Ryan Walters. What I saw. I do not even know how to put into words. During public comment at the OSDE meeting Thursday, Audra Beasley asked Ryan Walters if he would provide accommodations for her child who has a disability. You have intentionally denied my child restroom access in this building. You all have. Beasley also called out the state superintendent. You are an embarrassment to Oklahoma. You are a downright embarrassment. And you wear the same damn clothes all the time too. Why is that? When she hit her time limit, chaos ensued. You are an obnoxious bigot and bully. Thank you, Audra. Next, we have Wesley Audra, Beasley. What are you going to do? What are y'all going to do? Thank you. Before thank you, question. Audra. Go ahead, Wesley. You are disgusting. You are so rude. You are a bigot and a bully. Thank you. Beasley continued to speak as state troopers escorted her out in handcuffs, a situation that shocked people in the room. We just saw a mother with her three kids be ripped away from her kids, handcuffed in front of her kids as they cried out for her. Beasley was taken to the Oklahoma County Jail before being released on a $500 bond. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol tells Fox 25 she still faces two charges, disrupting state business and refusing to leave. This is not something that I would ever expect to see in America, in my home state, in my home city. People who attended the meeting tried to comfort her kids outside the OSDE building afterwards. We don't know these children. We have met them for the first time. We are now making sure they safely leave the premises. We reached out to Beasley and the OSDE for comment, but we did not hear back. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.